All right, well, today is a super exciting day. Something that I've worked on for the last two years has finally come to life and shown up on my front doorstep. I'm excited to talk to you guys about the all new Source Jacket from First Light. All right, let's open this box up and I'm excited to talk to you guys about the features of this jacket and where it fits in my lineup. All right, so here we have it, the source jacket from First Light. It is so cool to see this come to life after prototyping it and wearing it in the woods for the last two years. And, you know, one of the things that was immediately apparent about this piece when I started testing it was just how versatile it is. This thing works in pretty much any situation. It is definitely a Swiss Army knife, and it's something that I, I really would not hesitate to say every whitetail hunter out there has to have in their kit. It is that important to me. I put it up there with my base layers as far as how important it is to have this piece in a versatile setup. So let's talk about some of the features of this and why it is absolutely imperative to have in your kit and what makes it so versatile. So first and foremost, one of the things that makes this so versatile is just the fact that it is the perfect garment for either outerwear or layering. So, you know, I find myself wearing this jacket as early as 60, 65 degrees. It's nice and packable, so you can pack this down into a tight little ball, shove it in your pack, and on those like mid-October days where maybe you're going out for an afternoon hunt, it's like 75 degrees, but it's going to cool down to the low 60s really fast as soon as that sun starts tucking down. Well, we all know that's when the deer are going to get up and start moving. And this is a really nice piece to just pull out and throw over top of like a kiln 250 um, and just ride out that, that fast temperature drop and be ready to go. So the packability, huge feature. And part of what makes it so great for layering is the fact that it has that patented first light shooters cut where it's super super tight to your arms. It's tapered out so that it's very tight. There's nothing baggy, but this face fabric has a little bit of stretch to it. So it really works well, both as a under layering piece, but also an over layering jacket. It's very versatile to put stuff underneath and above. And along with that shooter's cut, it has these fantastic little thumb loops that are on the inside. So it doesn't have a hole on the outside. Uh, to mess with the DWR treated fabric and yes, this is fully DWR treated But it's these really nice little thumb loops right here on the inside That allow you to hook your thumb in and pull that through if you are wearing it as an under layering piece That stretchiness of the face fabric and that Primaloft gold insulation, which is also stretchy uh, really helps for you know, increased articulation So if you're climbing up into the tree when you're getting up in there, there's just no restriction of movement with this jacket. I think that's part of what makes it so comfortable and so great as both an outer piece layer and an under layer. So I found that I was wearing this with like a kiln or any other like very like close to skin layer and just this jacket, it almost felt like there was no restriction on my body at all for climbing into a tree and getting ready for a hunt. And also that stretchiness just really helps increased articulation for when you're taking a shot. You know, everybody knows that those deer never come out in the spot that you want them in. They're always behind you. You're twisted up like a pretzel. You're trying to make a shot happen. Uh, it's very nice to have a piece of gear or multiple pieces of gear that aren't hindering your your movement. Uh, if you're anything like me, my body already prevents me from moving a lot based on all the flubber in here. Anything that doesn't limit my articulation on top of that is a really, really good piece of gear for me to have. Uh, this piece also has the harness pass through. So if you're not a cool saddle hunter like me uh, and you're hunting from trees, that's fine. You can still be safe and have your harness on the inside and rock that little harness pass through right there. And I know we touched on this Primo off gold, but I, I just can't harp on enough how amazing the insulatory values of that Primo off gold is. And when you combine that Primo off gold with this face fabric, it really, really helps retain heat. It's super breathable. And it also really helps cut down the wind. 
This does not have a windproof layer in it, but I found that this piece of gear really, really, really helped uh, cut the wind and be wind resistant. So uh, this, this piece for me was on my body pretty much all the way from you know mid-October all the way down into, uh, geez, like all the way through the season. Because what I found myself doing was I could pair this, I could wear this as a standalone outer layer. I could also wear it, uh, pair it with a catalyst jacket. I could pair it with the solitude set uh, or anything in between. I could even wear this and then put the solitude vest on top of it. So it's just really incredibly versatile because of how, how, form fitting it is and perfectly it, it just really was a perfect cut for me to where it just functioned flawlessly on both an exterior and interior layering piece um and on top of that you know a lot of these puffy jackets that are on the market nowadays yeah they're compact they work well but they don't have a very durable face fabric on them and the face fabric that first light used on this i found to be exceptional i made a point to try and test the crap out of the durability of this face fabric. I wore it in places that you should not wear a puffy jacket at all, through briars, through like nasty thickets, places looking for deer, and I was blown away at how well this face fabric functioned with anything that was sticking into it. I wore this into places that like a normal... I don't know, Patagonia jacket, let's say, like that that kind of shiny, puffy jacket material that we're all used to would have come out in pieces. It would have looked like rags. Uh, this just absolutely functioned perfectly. I mean, you know, is it made of metal? No, it's not a suit of armor. Like if you, if you put a knife across it, it's going to cut it. But I was really impressed with how this wore. I mean, even uh, in normal wear spots for like climbing up trees, having bark all over it, it really did a phenomenal job with the durability of this face fabric. I cannot stress that enough that this face fabric just was perfect um, and really did not show wear even on a piece that I was trying to destroy. So, uh, again, is it bulletproof? No, I don't want to see people in the comments blow me up because, you know, they wore it through a knife fight and it got all cut up. Like, obviously, uh, you know, if you try to destroy something, you will. But I was very impressed with, with how this weave works. It's almost like a micro blue jean type weave, although it's super silent. It's really the perfect blend of a silent whitetail bow hunting piece that provides a ton of heat retention the dwr treatment on it uh provides for you know protection from little storms little rainstorms whatever that might pop up again is it waterproof no like if it's absolutely pouring rain outside you need a rain jacket but if a little storm pops up or some morning mist on an october morning totally fine uh and it just really is the Swiss Army piece of my kit. I highly, highly recommend it. Another thing that's worth noting is the collar height on this, I think is really perfect. It's not a big giant collar that's gonna get in the way of your string uh, or your release hand when you're drawing a bow. It's nice and short. It fits really nice under your chin and doesn't get in the way, which again aids to both an outer piece and functions perfectly as a layering piece. So, I mean, really in summary, what more could you want? I think it's going to be hard for First Light to keep these in stock because it is the absolute perfect whitetail puffy. It's durable. It's silent. It's packable. It's versatile. It it has the shooter's cut. It you know it has that perfect tapering for drawing your bow, uh, not getting in the way, which again gets back to the perfect outerwear or layering piece. I mean, really. First Light hit a home run with this. I think it'll be quickly apparent how amazing this piece is, and you guys will find, just like I did, how perfectly it fits in your kit. And, I mean, this this piece paired, it just pairs well with everything. Catalyst vest, catalyst jacket, uh, solitude vest, solitude jacket. And if you're hunting polar bears, you could probably wear it with a, a sanctuary setup too. So head over to firstlight.com, check it out. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll be happy to get back to you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.